always has the same HA. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, subscribe. <laughs> Bye! I would do it. Hey guys! Okay. Thank you. So let's practice. What are we going to say? Alright, bye. Hey! Bye. So what are we going to say? Hey guys! Hey guys! Yeah. Okay, you're done. Yeah! So my channel is called Rui's Corner. So you'll be like, welcome back to Rui's Corner. That's okay, we're going to try that. Let's try. Look at so let's practice. We need to practice. So this is Momo, Shiki, and Shaki. Okay. I think we should say awesome. your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and this is Mona Lisa. Okay, so we measure the flour, put it in a bowl, and next we move on to the sugar, and we add that to the flour as well. Okay, so we're done with the sugar. Next we're gonna put the cocoa. Okay. So, it's your cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is different. It is a different thing. So we need to do a cup of this. Who wants to do the cup? Shimmy, you have that in the Three quarters of a cup. Three quarters? Yeah. Of a, this is a hard thing to, to even process. <laughs> Three quarters of a cup. So use the other one and then we're just gonna we're gonna <laughs> measure just, with our hearts. I'll just okay. do the pouring. I can't even like I can't even visualize three quarters of a cup. What is that? <laughs> Slightly more than half? So we're adding the cocoa to the other dry ingredients and you really want to make sure you get it all in there. It has a tendency to just get stuck. And now we're adding some salt, baking powder and baking soda. So make sure you add both of them and that's about it.
Wes, who's doing the mixing. You said you wanted to be doing mixing, so yeah. So make sure you don't use anything, otherwise our proportions won't be. Almost, almost, well done. Gently, yeah? Yeah, mix it. Okay, so I decided to step in and hold the ball for her and just help her while she was mixing it. And she had so much fun with this, which is always the good thing when you work with kids. When it comes to baking, the experience is just so much more fun. Okay, I stepped in and I just mixed it a bit more just to make sure, you know, everything at the bottom came to the top and we mixed it a bit better. But she had done such an amazing job anyways. There really wasn't much left to do. So what do you want to taste? Because now we're doing the what ingredients. Do you want to try and break the eggs in? Ouch! <laughs> no? Uh, I want egg. I can't even break the egg properly. Okay. I can break the egg, but I'll feel it. Try it. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, so you try with that one. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't work. Minecraft. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Not even one. I've got a million. There's not one. Oh my god. Gosh. Okay. Okay. Break it into half. I thought I was bad. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, she really She's really good. Yeah. Woo. Okay. She's just gonna do it. Open it with your fingers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. No show. Okay. Great. Okay. I didn't miss estimating her. You did. Oh, she's better than me. I was gonna show her. Now that we've broken the eggs, we're going to add some vanilla essence and just a, a drop, a generous drop of that. And from this stage, we're going to move on and mix that all together. Perfect. Now we're going to add the butter very slowly. Make sure that it's warm and not too hot. If it's too hot, the eggs are going to cook. Okay, great. So we're just going to give that a good mix and just look at how amazing that looks already. Now it's time to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and we make a well in the center for control and we mix it up. Um, if you can use something other than a spoon, that would be really good, but I couldn't find any utensils at the time, so a spoon it was. And here we go. Just look at that rich chocolatey color. Oh my goodness, love it. Okay, so now I've added in some hot water and this just really works in activating the cocoa. And um, I didn't tell you guys, but I put in some instant coffee. So it's really, really starting to come together. Oh, hello there, whisk. Uh, just give it a quick whisk. Um, it wasn't really needed at this stage, but Look at it. Do you want to watch us, Nanny? Do you want to be in the show? <laughs> <laughs> She's just waking up. Okay. Okay. She's so now we need to put it in the... Okay, I've managed to put the baby down and now we are going to try to bake the cakes. So we take our lined um, cake tins and we are just going to divide half the mixture into um, two of the cake tins that we have currently. So you just pour that in. Next, I'm gonna take a 70% cooking chocolate because I like it dark and bitter. And we're just gonna chop that up into much more manageable pieces. And obviously this is a job for someone more senior because we're using a knife and it's not that safe for the kids. So let's just work on that and get it nicely chopped up. And pat myself on the back because I'm doing a pretty good job. It's not as easy as it looks, but you know, we get the job done. Next we get a can of condensed milk. Just one can is gonna be enough. And to this can, we're gonna add the chopped chocolate and put it on the heat until it melts and comes together into this beautiful, luscious, creamy mixture. Okay. 
and there we have it. And I will say using the dark chocolate means it offsets the sweetness in the condensed milk, which works better for my palate. But if you like using milk chocolate, then go ahead. Okay, so the cakes are finally cooled down and you're looking amazing. And we're just going to take that chocolate condensed mixture, which is actually a chocolate fudge at this stage, and layer it onto the cakes. So the direction that we took here with, um, you know, trying to put the cakes together was whatever the kids wanted us to do. And I kept asking them, so what do you guys want to do next? And um, this is all the creative direction. And I think it came out pretty amazing. Okay, so we're gonna pour the remaining chocolate fudge on the top of the cake and just let it do its thing. It's just gonna go sliding all the way down until the whole cake is coated. I'm trying to pop the air bubbles, but you know, such is life, such is life, and <laughs> just enjoy it. And yeah, pretty happy with the outcome. So this is a four layer cake that I done earlier with the same exact ingredients and the same recipe and this is what it looks like. Super moist, super delicious and give it a go. Mm -hmm. 